Hey my Twisters, welcome back to my spooky series. This is the flying ghost and it's a very classy ghost because it has a cute little bow tie and I really hope you guys enjoy this series. If you don't have your own Vika Twist Halloween mini boxes already, check the description box below and let's get into creating this cute flying Halloween ghost. Let's go. To create our flying ghost, you're going to need a 12 inch round balloon with ghost print faces on them. So in your box, each one has five different ghost faces and I just really enjoy this one. So I'm gonna start with this one. I think it's the silliest of them all. And you're gonna pump them up and leave a tail end about here and you're gonna tie. So I'm not gonna tie all the way at the top right here. I'm actually gonna tie at the bottom. Like that. So I left this end right here so that way I can squeeze the balloon. And so that I can make the body longer for the ghost. I'll leave this to the side because I know that if I twist it right now, it's gonna go undone. So I'm gonna leave it to the side and I'm gonna take a 260 Qualitex balloon, white, and I'm gonna pump it up and I'm gonna leave a five finger tail. I like that. Burp and tie and then squeeze and stretch. I'm gonna start off by making the ghost hand. So I'm gonna make a three finger bubble loop twist. So I'm gonna loop it and then I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna take that nozzle in and push it through the middle so it's secure. So three finger loop twist followed by a one inch bubble and I'm gonna pinch twist that. So I'm gonna fold it over Pinch and twist, and that is the ghost's first hand. I'm gonna squeeze the rest and pull, and now I'm gonna make the arm. So the arm is gonna be about a five finger wide length, and you can always make your arms longer, it's up to you. So mine is gonna be five finger length. I'm gonna twist. I'm gonna take another one inch bubble. I'm gonna pinch twist that. So I'm gonna fold it over, pinch and twist. And then I'm gonna make a second pinch twist. So another one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch and twist. And what I like to do is I like to twist these guys around each other to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now I'm gonna make the arm on the other side. So I have one arm, now I'm gonna make the other arm on this side. So the same five finger length, followed by a three finger loop twist, and a one inch pinch twist. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut the rest. like that. You can use your scissors, of course, if you cannot snap it. I'm gonna tie the balloon and wrap that around. I'm gonna cut the rest off. And there I have my arms. Now I'm going to adjust these pinches on both sides. So that way the arms are straight across. So now I have one pinch twist on that side and one pinch twist on this side. And those are my arms. I can bend my arms too if I want. So I can bend them down and squeeze. And I can bend this one up. You just bend it and squeeze the end just a little bit. And the balloon will shape the way you want it to go. So if you want the arm to go up, you can go up. If you want it down, you can go down. 
Now we're gonna take the balloon from earlier. We're going to twist it in the middle. This takes a little squeezing and stretching. So that way you can have the head on the top and the body in the middle. So I'm going to twist right here in the middle. Just like that. And there's the head and there's the body. And this arm is going to be connected right here where the neck is. So what I like to do is I like to pull apart these guys and slowly push the other balloon through. Just like that. And don't be scared of the balloon popping on you because the more you're scared of it, the more it's going to pop. So twist it on there. I usually like to pull this end just a little bit so that way I can curl the tail in and squeeze so that way it has this nice curve to it. And there's my ghost. And now you can stop right there and have, have a cute little flying ghost. Or what I like to do is I like to take a 260 clear balloon just like this and then i'm going to pump it up and i'm gonna do a two finger tail at the end we have this long clear balloon and then you can attach the nozzle end to the middle of your ghost right here at the top. I usually wrap it around the arm. I feel like that's the easiest way to get into to the middle. I wrap the balloon all the way around the arm and then underneath this pinch twist right here. And that's where the clear balloon is. So now I can actually fly my spooky ghosts everywhere. I can shorten this or if I really want it to reach all the way to the top of the ceiling, I can have it long. So it's up to you if you wanna make it shorter, you can twist it and then cut the rest off or leave it like that. And to make it an extra cute ghost, you could take another color. So I added orange and green balloons so that you can make a cute little bow tie for your ghost. So I'm gonna do an orange color. I'm gonna stretch it, pump that up, and it doesn't really matter how long the tail end is because you're not gonna use that much, but I suggest using a five finger tail. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna make a three finger loop twist. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take the nozzle and push it through so that it's secure. I'm going to make a second three finger loop twist. It can be three finger or two finger, it's up to you. I usually try to make it as small as you can for the neck. So those are my two loop twists. I'm going to make another one inch pinch twist. So one inch bubble, I'm going to pinch twist that. And place it in the middle. And for the rest of this, I'm going to twist right here and cut the end. I'm gonna let all that air out and tie. and then wrap that in just a little bit around there. So now you have a cute little bow tie and you can add it onto your ghost in the front using that tail end. So you can wrap it around. I usually wrap it around the head to make it easier and then around that one inch bubble right here in the back. bring it to the front and I twist again I take that end and I'll twist around that 
bow tie. So that way it stays on in the middle. Have a cute little bow tie in front of your ghost with a nice little handle so that you can fly your ghost all over the room. <laughs> Boo! And that is your very simple and easy but classy flying ghost. I hope you guys enjoyed making your flying ghost and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.